Hello, this is Math Jess from Almost Cool, and I am here with a Math Magician. Hello! Sorry you can't see him right now, we're on opposite sides of the build, I think. But, uh, we are continuing to work on the roof of this cathedral. So, my understanding is we are putting up some red stained clay in this episode. Is that right? Um, yep, just a little bit. Still a lot of green wool. Um, but this is the part where the exterior roof starts to meet the building again. Um, so these, these red clay circles that you see kind of just hovering in the air, they are going to be the four um, chapels that stick up on those corners of the building. Chapels? Okay. Yeah, so apparently St. Are... Basil is, is like eight different chapels just kind of hooked together. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, it uh, has to have some reason for the eight different rooms on it. Mm -hmm. And the weird thing is, I don't remember if I if I misremember or if I just don't understand why, but I feel like there's actually nine. The um, center at the bottom. There's the center too. Yeah. But I don't know if it doesn't count as a chapel, or if I just am misremembering. Now, you were there, right? Uh, no, I did not get to see St. Basil's, actually. Oh, That's okay. You were more. you were at, um... Notre Dame. Notre Dame, though. Okay. Yes. yes. Gorgeous building. If I had blueprints for it, I'd probably have us build, um, the Sacred Heart from Paris as well, but we'll, do well we I mean, we are getting a lot of practice with this. We might have to try our hand at coming up with our own blueprints. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm brave enough to tackle something like that yet. Maybe we could find someone that's skilled at drawing or something. I'm just going to put a bunch of torches here because we need them. We've already had one creeper on top of this roof. Okay. We could, you know, make the torches pretty later. I don't see, uh, where next do I put green wool? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think... So, you're knocking that down. It's not good? Uh, no, this was stuff that I just put down, and I, I put it down by accident. I forgot that I was supposed to have this gap for the red stained clay. Oh, okay. Uh, you said you had rain red stained clay? Yeah. Should okay. I just make red rings in the other two yeah. sides? Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, notice the portion that I didn't do uh, of the ring, that's because those snow columns are going to come all the way up through them, and it's going to be snow at that, those two spots. Okay. And then more red. Um, Take a good look at this ring. So, it looks like the ring is five... Uh-huh. It's a 5115. Five. 5115. Is that standard, like, notation for this? Standard description of this? No, but I figured that the two of us would know what I was saying. Because <laughs> that seems like a really useful way of describing a circle, to be honest. Huh, something's wonky on this side. I'm not sure what. Wonky on the uh, east side? West side? I forget yeah, which I si the side you're on. Yeah, the side I'm on. I don't know if it's something that I've... Something that I added? I, I'm willing to bet that it's 
something that I messed up on because I was the one that did the underlying levels on that. Yeah. But the thing is, it I can't see where the mistake is on those levels. So it just means I'm really good at messing it up. <laughs> Very skillful. I mean, it would, it wouldn't be fun if it were easy, right? <laughs> exactly. I just got dirt on the floor. Oh, well, just sweep it up when you're done. How high did you say we are? This is layer t um, 22 that we're working on. Okay. We're almost to the point where you can't use the... Um, <laughs> you can't fall to the bottom as an easy way to get down anymore. Might have to start putting splash pads down. Yeah. How tall is the finished building? Um, 80 something layers, I think. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to try and duplicate the uh, green wool ring above the red ring. Okay. I assume that this goes in like this, right? Um, yeah. All the way up to the red ring. Okay. And then those red rings, you can actually make uh, a couple layers higher. Okay. They go, they go at least five layers higher, but if you make them like three layers higher right now, that would probably be a good thing. Okay. Let's see. Have. I am out of red stained clay. Okay, I have several more stacks if you want some more. Sorry, I should have given you more. There you go, sir. Thank you. It is a beautiful... It's 
someday I will rush here and see it. Oh, have you seen um, Stranger Things? No, I've heard about it a couple times. So I'm, I'm confused. Is this a movie or a TV show? It's a TV show on Netflix. Okay. So, but no, I haven't seen it though. Just yeah. So there are only eight episodes out so far, but it and I've only seen five of them. But what I've seen so far has been really good. You said these go up five? They go up at least five. Um, we don't have to build them up five right now, per se. Uh, I'm going to build them incompletely so that we can still walk up to the top of them. Okay. So yeah, each of these rings I will... Apparently someone is at my door. I, I'll build them so that we can still... Okay, and actually it turns out they go up six. Ah. So. And if I build them up six, then... Uh, like, that's it? Then, yeah. Yep, then they start doing something weird. Maybe I'll just put a ladder on them then. Okay. Uh, so something I was going to do is add a ladder to these snow pillars that are currently freestanding, because then they go all the way up to the ring. Okay. Okay, so I am going to add a ladder to the, each outside so that we can climb up and down these towers. Okay. Oh, the onion domes go on next, don't they? Um, soon. We're not quite high enough yet. For the onion I am domes. so excited for the onion domes. I think it's going to be a nightmare trying to coordinate putting them on. <laughs> but they'll look so pretty when they're done. I agree. Did I make this six tall? I think I did. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm putting a ladder on the outside of each of these. To, uh, so that we can get down to the roof if we need to. Good plan. And then did you notice I just built up a snow tower? I saw. Okay. So that way we can get to the ground as well. Cool. Now what's fun is uh, we have finished the this chunk of the green wool roof. Well, guess what? What? I just ran out of red hardened clay. Oh, I got you. Hang on. Yeah. Half a heart. What? I had half a heart remaining when I 
fixed my error on the staircase. Whoa! Oh, you okay? <laughs> so, I'm near where you're at if you wanted some more. Uh, oh. let's get to a flatter area so it won't fall on the ground. Right there here. we go. That okay, looks right? great. Okay, I've only got 41 left, but that should do. That should suffice. Um, oh, I forgot to put a stair uh, ladder on this one. Do you have ladders? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And that was fun. Oh, and then I have to put the ring on that side too, don't I? Um, yeah, after I get the snow built up to that level. Oh, it doesn't have to be I'm after. I'll just um, do it now. Okay. You're going to have this weird gap. Where are you? The last big ring. Big red ring. Oh, you're doing that one, okay. You know, it's a good thing that I don't work in construction. Hmm. Why? Because you fall a lot? Well, I mean, I just built that up by taking several um, five meter falls. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be bad. Okay. Uh, and I guess there's more red hardened clay at the bottom. What do you mean at the bottom? Like. Oh, in the chest? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the weird thing about Minecraft mm. is. If you want to fall, you want to hit everything on the way down. Like, if you don't want to take damage. That seems like the worst way to fall, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna fall off this cliff. Better hit every rock on the way down. <laughs> that way it'll minimize how hurt I am at the end. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong, but it just sounds like a bad strategy. Yeah, I can see that. But I mean, we are we are dealing with a superhero after all. That's true. Steve is a superhero. Well, he's a super person. I don't know if he's a hero. That's fair enough. So, do you use your power for good or for awesome? Um, I think mostly for awesome. <laughs> I mean, if those are my only two options, that is. Did you ever watch Homestar Runner? Mm, no. No? That's what the character Strongbad says. Is like, you if you had super like, s someone sent in an email and Strongbad said you have superpowers. Do you use them for good or for awesome? Because Strongbad is supposed to be the villain of the comic, of the oh, okay. uh, of the story. So, by awesome you can insinuate that he means evil. Do you use your powers for good or for awesome? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I, uh... I loved Homestar Runner when I was in middle school and high school. It was really fun. Um, actually, there's uh, one of the videos that was made for Homestar Runner that 
was super helpful in understanding the Gilded Age and the Depression in uh, U.S. history. Like, yeah. if you get all of the references that are being made in Ballad of the Sneak, is what it's called, then pretty much understand enough for a pretty good score on like the AP or U.S. history exam. Ooh, I'm all about learning through not learning. <laughs> or not reading books. I think one of my favorite memories of high school is my was my English class. Um, I did not read any of the books the entire three years of high school English that we were supposed to read. So instead, I watched the Simpsons episode that was parodying it, and then took the test. And I tended to get between, like, 95 and 98%. That's both really funny and kind of sad, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, it is that time again. Okay, farewell, YouTubers. Bye! Hope you enjoyed the episode, and have a great day.